Hello again, everybody. I can't even wave. Hello again, everybody. <laughs> I'm doing another little tech video here. I've got this um, Raspberry Pi Zero protective case uh, that I want to put on my Raspberry Pi Zero, obviously. And I have no freaking clue what I'm doing, so this might take a little while. I know on the front it says like protective case for Pi 2 Model B. That's wrong. It's actually for the uh, Pi Zero, so. I already double checked that and I was like, oh my gosh, I got the wrong one. No, it's it's the right one, but they just want me to panic basically. So what do we got here? Da 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 da, I opened the box upside down. There we go. All these tiny little boxes that I can put stuff in. Gee, I'll save that for the mail video. There we go. So we do have our Raspberry Pi Zero. I can get it out of the bag. There we go. Raspberry Pi Zero in all of its tiny, adorable glory. Look at that. Tiny. So we've got that. And we want to put it into its case. There aren't any instructions or anything. I'm basically just going to fumble my way through this. But it's clear acrylic. And we've got some, well, it, it is clear, but there's like a temporary backing on that I think you have to peel off. And then there is a number of tiny little plastic screws and nuts or nuts and bolts. Uh, screws and bolts, screws and bolts. That's what we're going with. So we've got four longer ones. Oh my gosh. They're so light that they just move too too much, too easily. And then two smaller ones. And then two extra bolts more than there are for these. So I guess we're probably gonna use it for a spacer or something, but let's see. So this one, I think it goes like this direction because this lines up with where the memory card goes and lines up with everything else. Oh, but that doesn't... Oh, no, like this. There we go. Ha ha! So that's gonna go like that. Something like that anyways. And then this obviously is gonna go on the underside. Let's look at this. How do I get this off? Or is it not? It should. It should be transparent. Um... Um... <laughs> All right. Oh, it's probably just like melted E on the edges, so that's why it makes it more difficult to kind of detach it. What is the best way? Maybe I'll use um, my tool, my knif. See if I can. I'm not going to use one of the knife edges. I'm going to use one of the like tool edges, maybe. No, no, no. Oh man, this has scissors in it? I forgot it had scissors in it. What's that? I don't even know what all these, ah! I don't even know what all these tools are. Okay, we'll go with something simple. Let's try something like this. Okay. And I just wanna know, this should come off. I'm reasonably certain it was sold as like a completely clear, transparent acrylic. Maybe I will try the knife. All right. Oh, oh. Almost. Okay, it's kind of coming off, but it's not coming off cleanly. <laughs> so, like I said, this might take a while. So, um, that actually wasn't so bad once we got off one of the edges, but 
There we go. This is going to go like this on there. And then this is going, I don't know which side this part has to go on. Oh, this way. There we go. That matches with that. And that matches with that. Okay, so, uh, you see where the four big screws are going? <laughs> There's two. Hmm. There's two tiny screws, but I'm not sure what they're for. There's four tiny spots down here. Um, but I think those are, yeah, those are just holes for, because this on this, oh gosh, on this side, these kind of protrude. So I think those are just literally for that to sit in. What are the small screws for? All right, well, let's figure this out. Is it supposed to be flush or is it supposed to have, um, like, oh my gosh, let's just try it. Let's see what happens if we put like a screw through on one. What does that do? So if we put a screw through like this, okay, I mean, that makes sense, right? Are we supposed to put bolts so that there's space in there so that there's more room for air and heat? Mm, no, I don't think there's space for that because there's only really enough room for the bolts on the other side. Okay, so hypothetically, let's just say that's what this is for. Maybe extra screws are just extra. Maybe I'm making this more difficult than it needs to be. Oh, this one's too tight. I'm not doing a very good job of keeping this on camera. <laughs> I'm too busy looking at my hands. All right. Gosh dang it. There you go. Ah. Okay, so hypothetically. I honestly think that's it. I think that uh, the other small screws and the other extra bolt things are for possible like alterations or differences that you have. But basically, this is now my Raspberry Pi in a hard acrylic transparent case. So it's a little more safe. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed me flailing and um, now I just need to actually install the OS on this thing and do something with it. But yeah. All right. Oh. It's not pulled down where it should be. I've noticed. Mr. Maybe not Mr. Mrs. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I just need those extra things for a buffer somewhere. No, that is where it should be. Uh, it's just tighter on that side than it is on this side. I don't know, man. I honestly don't know, but at least this is the gist of it. I'll figure out what I'm actually supposed to be doing with this thing um, one day, but for now, this is my Raspberry Pi Zero, relatively safe, I think, <laughs> in a plastic case. We'll see if I've installed this right or not, but I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I will see you next time.
I lied. I think that I think I need to put those other um, what you call it bolts on the inside. So I'm gonna do that and see how that works. Ah, it's all trial and error because I'm not really following instructions here. Or by not really, I mean I'm not actually at all. Oh no. Okay, so do this, and that would also make sense for the two screws that don't really have anything holding them in. That'd make a lot more sense. So basically, just want to bolt those in. I still don't know what the tiny screws are for. I guess that won't really hold these in any more than anything else, will it? Whatever. It'll still, it should be more stable. <laughs> just screw it on like this. It should be more stable this way, though. I think the other way wasn't stable enough. This thing is so tiny, it makes my hands look huge. Okay, so. Mm. Oh, too tight. Other way, thank you. Come on, man. That one is in. Oh my gosh, my hand is all over the place. That one's in. This one is in. And then just do it. All right, this one goes in there. Do it, do it. No, don't fall out. I need you to stay there in your spot. Let me tighten this. Why, you know. Okay, just hold it from the bottom. Almost. All right, there we go. Those are in, those are in, those are in, those are in. Okay, so we're kind of back to where we started, but we're doing it right this time, hopefully. Um, there we go. Yeah, this is much sturdier. And then this lines up like that so that I can install pins and stuff in here. And then this tightens up on here. One's still loose a bit. I don't know. Oh my gosh. This tiny thing is escaping. There we go. Got it. And then last. Oh, last. Last one. There it is. Come on. You can do it. I believe. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so for reals this time, there we go. So that makes everything lay more solidly. Just basically kind of creates a gap that's equal on all sides. There we go. That is my Raspberry Pi Zero in a transparent case now. And I didn't horribly screwed up I don't think <laughs> but now I still need to just um, get the memory card and install the OS and all those other things I still don't know what the tiny screws are for the other tiny screws uh, there 
right now. But yeah, this is somewhat generally on the way to being a thing now, I guess. Maybe. There we go. Memory card in. So that's done. Now we have the hard slash fun part of actually figuring out what to do with this thing. So I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you on the next video.